bacteria as far as your digestive system goes. Uh, that's the fundamental component of digestion, digestive health is the good bacteria. So work on your bacteria using the bioluminately essence. You also want fermented foods probably, kimchi and miso and tempeh. Eat less food and practice uh, uh, make sure you're fasting for a couple of days, then start to introduce foods in, the ter in terms of liquid foods, bone soup, vegetable juices. Get on the healthy start pack. I would throw in a little bit of extra vitamin C as well. If you're constipated, make sure you're grinding up some flaxseed fibers and drinking them down in water maybe once or twice a day. There's so many different things you could do. But the good news is, Eugene, is once you start this process, once you start this process of healing, healing the body using nutritional strategies and lifestyle strategies, you will immediately, I mean immediately, begin to reverse disease. Now, it may take you months before you're completely taken care of, but the good news is you'll immediately start to reverse your diabetic symptoms, your digestive symptoms, and you probably lose weight as well. And the inflammatory effects, so that's what's causing the pain. That's why you can't do anything. Last but not least, I'm going to let you go, Eugene. Get a rebounder. You're probably not going to be able to jump on there for very much. You might only be able to do 10 seconds or so. That's plenty. And then work yourself back up. And don't forget your deep breathing techniques. God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything. Thanks for your call. All right, Eddie in Illinois, what's going on? Eddie? Oh, hey, hey, what's up, Ben? How are you? I'm yeah, doing I'm good. What's up, my man? Good, good, good. Uh, nothing. So, listen, really quick. I know you're busy, so um, I'm just going to get to it. My mom, the other day, half of her face uh, just went numb, has some kind of paralysis. She had a stroke? Uh, she wasn't, I guess what I think, she went to the doctor, and they said it was some kind of Bell's palsy, and that if she massaged her face, that she'd be fine, and they did all sorts of vital you know, tests, and she was okay. I just, I talked to her before this happened, and she wasn't understanding me well, and I just don't believe that it's just some kind of Bell's palsy okay. thing. So I was, was hoping she, just to get your... I got a lot of ideas for you. Was she not okay. understanding you well just because it was complicated or because of the stroke or because of her issue? It was, I think it's because of her issue because uh, okay. the receptionist at her job also said that she wasn't speaking well, and now right. like half of her mouth doesn't work. Her eyelid doesn't. Uh, okay, shot. we got to get her. We got to get yeah. some stuff going on here. Get her on the healthy start pack okay. right away, as soon as you can. Okay. As I was telling, I was right telling our last call, pack. right away, as we were talking okay. to the last caller. Once, when the body's really deficient, and chances are your mom's completely deficient in nutrients. I assume she's not supplementing. She probably's not eating she, correctly either. So uh, she 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 has a lot of stress too. She's and burning her nutrients. She's, she's starving to death, okay. Eddie. She's starving to death. Okay. She's, and when I, by starving, I don't mean calorie starving. I mean nutrition starving. So she's missing okay. key nutrients. The good news is as soon as she gets them in her system, she's going to immediately feel better, immediately, within 24 hours or less. Get her on okay. the Healthy Start Pack. If, I, if it was me, I would be, run, I'd be asking for a rush order so you can get, to her, get her on it as soon as possible. Make sure she sips on the BTT, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, slowly. Put it in a water bottle, put it in a water bottle, sip on it. She, what's going to happen is she's going to start to feel better right away, and then she might try to overdose, and then she'll end up with diarrhea or loose stools, and you don't want that to happen. But she'll feel better right away. Almost as soon as she starts sipping on that BTT, she's going to feel better. Then you want to start working with the digestive system. If she's like most folks, she's been, her digestive tract has been breaking down for decades. So you got to start working on that. Get her on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. That's the probiotics. Make sure she's using okay. her ultimate enzymes with meals and apple cider vinegar. See if she can notice a, a relationship between specific foods and bowel movement problems, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, gas, heartburn, and then eliminate problem foods. She's going to need to stabilize her blood sugar. The best way to, she's going to get some stabilization out of the healthy start pack, but uh, which you, uh, another very important strategy, obviously, is going to be to reduce foods that spike her blood sugar, bread, pasta, potatoes. Now, she's going to be, she's going to push back, you know, chances, we love our pasta, so she's going to push back. Yeah. So what you do is not, she doesn't need to have zero tolerance, but the less she eats, the better off she is. So if she has pasta every week, every day, have her have it three, three times a day or potatoes or, you know, if she's eating these kinds of foods on a daily basis, have her skip a day yeah. here and there. You know what I'm saying? And Wean herself healthy. off. Yeah. She's and, pretty healthy and she's Well, she's not. She's, she's not though. You know, she's, she's dealing with these kinds of conditions. I'm not dealing with these conditions. Are you? So obviously there's something no. going on. So you can't say, yeah. and we were talking to a caller yesterday, oh, I eat healthy, I'm very healthy, but I have Parkinson's disease. It doesn't work that way. And I'm not beating her up. I'm not, you know, you, I'm not saying this to make her bad or make her wrong. I'm saying this because we want to help her. 
If she thinks she eats healthy, I'm not saying this is the case, but if somebody thinks that, oh, I'm really healthy, I just have kidney disease, I, I really got a letter from a gal, and she's, uh, she said to me, he, my husband's really healthy, he just has kidney disease, but other than that, he's healthy, and this is how we think, and it's as silly as that sounds, the point is I'm not trying to make people wrong, I'm saying if you think you eat healthy but you have kidney disease, or you're healthy but you have Parkinson's disease, you can't do anything. But if you say, okay, I got Parkinson's, I'm doing something wrong, where can I work here? Then you can start to change the problem. So uh, digestion, work on the digestion as far as the sugar goes because it's going to be tough because we get addicted to sugar and bread and pasta and things that break down the sugar. More protein, more good fat. That means EFAs, coconut oil, and butter. Between the good fat and the protein, it becomes much easier to wean yourself off these other foods. The cool thing, I, I always talk about chicken soup and bone soup. One of the neatest things about bone soup and chicken soup is not only is it packed with nutrients, but it's delicious. You, so you don't feel like you're torturing yourself when you're not eating your pasta or you're not eating your desserts because the bone soup is so delicious. Another thing, salt water is so tasty and so delicious when we're salt deficient. And most of us are salt deficient because guess what gland monitors and, and utilizes uh, minerals and salt? The adrenal glands. And we'll talk about this tomorrow, how important salt is for the adrenal glands. So have her drinking salt water, Celtic sea salt, not uh, table salt. Okay. And what about then Himalayan I, sea salt? That's Himalayan good, too. Salt. Yeah, yeah. Himalayan okay. salt is good as well. So many different things you could do. I'm going to let you go here because I want to get another call okay. in. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Slow, deep breathing, Eddie. Have her sit on the couch and slow, deep breathe and relax the body. Uncle Jed, you're our last caller of the day. God bless you, my friend. What's going on? Hey, uh, uh, I'm going to drop my original subject uh, because I wanted to actually speak to some of the things you were saying to, uh, to uh, uh, Eugene uh, yes. because I was very... Uh, taken by a story, struck by a story, because I was a cross-country skater, a skater. I weighed up to 260 pounds, and I, I had such a health deficit. You know what I'm talking about. When I was 18, tell them what I was destined for. I had lymph glands all over my body swollen up. Everything stunk on me. I should be dead by now. If I were in the hands of doctors, you know, medicine. But you, you sound great, medical, though. Chemical medicine, I would be dead. I, but I'm I running out of time, Uncle. Out of hands, and I think the first thing was breathing. 18, I started breathing. Very good. Uncle Jed, I wish I had more time to talk to you. You're such a fascinating caller. I, I wish you'd call me more, my man, but I got to go. God bless you, Uncle Jed in Kentucky. Good to talk to you, briefly as, as brief as it was. All right, I apologize if I left you on hold. Call back tomorrow. We'll get you first up in line. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm going to be on George Norrie on Coast to Coast tonight. Uh, give us a call on Coast to Coast if you didn't get on board today, and we'll, we'll help you out that way. Thanks for listening. Have a spectacular, awesome, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.